What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are getting into it with tube lighting. Tube mania if you will. Uh, these lights are absolutely taking over the DJ world. We're going to talk about three different price points, three different brands today on the channel. Let's go! All right, fam, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you're already subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to build up here and exceed way past 12,000. Okay, so subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment when it's over, all that stuff, all right? So today we're gonna talk about these lights. And as usual, I'm not gonna talk about all the tech specs and all that stuff. I'll leave that to people like Mojax and Cleveland Terry. I'm simply gonna get into some pricing, some features, some looks, because at the end of the day, they're all LED tubes, right? They all do relatively similar things, and albeit they have different methods of controlling them. So we're gonna start on my right with the Astera AX1, okay? So these are sitting on the ground as you're seeing them, so you can see the different sizes, all right? So the Astera AX1 was the grandfather, right? This is the one they use in movies and videos. This is what you see in Lexus car commercials. These are the premier highest point. Uh, I think a pack of eight in the hard case with all the charger and the accessories is probably gonna run you $5,000, something like that. Not 360, 180. Comes with a ton of accessories like these little feet. A lot of people now are going to third parties. You can check the link down below for videos I've made about third parties that are making the feet and stands. Uh, my friend Dimitri up in Boston, a company called Lightsmiths out in Seattle. Uh, I've gotten several different stands for these. This is what I use every single weekend to wash the dance floor. I put them at different heights around me. You can hang them on the wall. We've done that before here for live streams. We have uh, used magnets and hung them to the truss. These are the grandfather. These are what I use. These are the premier, okay? So let's move that to the side. The last video I did, when we sold a ton of these things, these are the glow tubes. My friend Rod out in Texas sells these, glowtubes.com. We're gonna put the link down below, of course, if you wanna get them. This price point is more like $75 each. Super simple, on off switch. They've got a remote, just like most LEDs. You can run them in sound mode. They do sync together. They do look really cool. They do put on an awesome show and the price point is just right. You can even buy a super basic, simple plastic case from him for them. Glow tubes are awesome. Not completely 360. You got a kind of a gray line down the back like that. These little feet are, you know, super basic. They can unscrew, so you do have that thread on the bottom if you wanted to use some different hardware for them. He sold a ton of these based off my last video. At this price point, $75, I think, a piece. Glow tubes are kind of awesome. All right, so Astera AX1, highest end. Glow tubes, probably the lowest end. And you can see those sitting side by side. Very similar in height, I guess. The brightness on this can be turned up some, so if the camera's not showing exactly the lighting, it's not really the point today. We're more just talking about size and um, comparing the three and really about the price points. And now, the newest in the tube lineup, at least for me, this is the both lighting. You guys have seen me make both lighting videos on their sparks, on the hundreds of up lights in that closet right there beside me on their new little square up lights. And now the Titan tubes. Look how big this thing is. There's the AX1. There's the Titan. Dude, how tall is it? I'm like 5'8". This shit is up to my chin. They're giant, I'm not gonna lie. Now, is that good or bad? I honestly don't know. I, <laughs> I, I I'm kinda on the fence about them. They're, they're giant and they're fat. Like my hand goes barely around this thing. It's fat, it's fat, right? But check this out. Unlike any of them, it's pretty much 360. A little grayness down the back. 
but 360 and unlike any of those this actually has a full on menu on it it's got dmx control it's got multiple other features and i'll probably pull out rick webb's notes and kind of read you some of the specs on it it's got a really nice soft uh power button here a charging port and again the feet come off on this end here but these are brand new from both lighting these are the titan tubes price point on these four for around a thousand sixty so what is that 250 260 dollars a light so three completely different price points let's call them ax1 at 500 dollars we'll call the glow tube at 75 dollars and we'll call the titan at around 260 ish so three different choices three different sizes three different price points you're gonna have to decide which one you want to use you know these basically are just remote control these i run off the proprietary ipad but they can be dmx and my friend brian over at soundswitchcoach.com uh, actually has a sound switch program for these now so you can dmx these and then these have built-in wireless dmx so man i can't tell you what to buy it's really going to be based on your price point and how you want to control them how much time you have to mess with them um, but i wanted to show them all to you standing here in a line before me before you before the world of DJs and just let you guys make your decision because I can't tell you what to do. I don't know what your budget is. I just tell you, I use the AX ones pretty much every weekend, but I feel totally comfortable taking any of these to shows. And again, your guests don't know the difference. They just look up there and go, damn, that guy's got a cool setup. And just a few more points on the Titan tubes before we wrap this video up. They are weatherproof. They run about eight to 12 hours, depending on the mode they're in. And speaking of modes, you can do master slave mode, you can do DMX, you can do auto mode, you can do strobe mode, you can do sound mode. I mean, they have multiple different modes and just a basic, simple remote control. will control them, or again, you can work on them through DMX. Man, I don't know which one to tell you to buy. I just know, we'll put the link down below. You can see my boy, Rick, at both lighting here in the United States to order these. They are out now or up lights or sparks. Anything from both lighting can go through Rick. Put the link down below. You can holler at my boy Rod at Glow Tubes in Texas to get these. I think he has them in stock now. I'd probably get six, eight, 10 of them just at that price point. Or you can reach out to Ben at nlfxpro.com if you want to order some Astera AX1 Pixel Tube. So, What's your choice going to be? Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, on to the next one.